warm and bright Albuquerque morn, a little intersex child is born in the city. Gentlemen and ladies, start your engines. <laughs> Transgendering, it's a fever, you know? It's a bunch of macho guys driving macho cars. Having your friends show up with boobs is a little weird. I'm very happy as a she-man. Dad looked me straight in the eye, and he says, I truly believe that you're not really a transgender. How do you deal with your father's disapproval? I mean, turn the other way and walk on? I'm really lost right now, Herod. Rusty wants to be with a woman, but it confuses me because Rusty has breasts. Rusty still has his parts. I can't imagine how difficult it is. <gasps> oh my God! It's uh, wanting to be desired, I guess needing to be loved. There's a lot of people that do still cling to the notion of a binary where it's either male or female. You're embracing sort of the in-between. You're sort of yeah, embracing I, the transness of it all. Well, society doesn't accept that. I just can't do that to please everybody else. We want you to be you, but don't be you around me. Well. Look at you now. your independent ways. Baby, look at you now. It's a whole universe of possibilities there, and we're only just beginning to explore it because we're only just beginning to break out of these preconceived cultural notions that it absolutely has to be the binary. Screw all that! I love my heels, mini skirts. Babe, let's get real. Why can't I be me around you? Why can't I be me around you? Why can't I?